tapping in. Uh, Terry's here, and <clears throat> I am choking a little bit right now, but it's all right. We're going back into more Stormbound. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying this series. I have. I really, really like this game. And we are actually going to be switching to a winter deck, so this is going to be interesting and exciting. So we just finished up the winter campaign in the last one, and I just built this new deck. So now we have two decks. One is the Winter's Edge. I thought that was a pretty cool name. And the other one is for the Swarm. So for all my StarCraft old school gaming friends, those are the two decks we are playing with. We are now going to play with our Winter's Edge, and we're going to be starting... A new campaign so we are still working through these campaigns collecting cards we're gonna be fighting against the ironclad Union so let's see what we got in store here in chapter one maybe this will be easy maybe this will be fast I have no idea what's in store for us but I'm gonna go ahead and rotate that because we don't have eight mana so let's see what we're getting here all right so we've got these mist wives and I like this card because when played bordering a Stronger friendly union we are going to deal more what is this this is a plain helper rodent okay so we could play that but it is not the best use of that card so I'm gonna wait I'm gonna swap that out and that did not do anything so yeah there there's a there's a difference between playing things in like ideal order and just playing it just to get it out so I'm just gonna play it just to get out to stay on curve right like don't want to get too far behind they are starting to do a little bit of work here um i'm going to swap that out and yeah we got heroic soldiers so i like that we'll push them all the way back still got some pretty good board control agents to charge okay so that's a five drop interesting and i i'm just going to stick with what the winter frostlings are good at which is building really massive units and pushing slowly across the, the board uh, nothing wrong with that they're trying to sprint down a little bit but calming spirits will prevail so let's uh I do want to actually put these right here. Because that's just so strong. I mean, what are they really going to do here? Oh, hearth. So I am interested. Okay, maybe they'll play a 10 drop obliterator. And uh, just counter that completely. Okay. All right. Strong move. Strong move. That's fine. I'm going to play my hearth. Because, hey, why not? We'll play this as well, which will boost that. And I'm going to cycle execution and see what we get. <clears throat> okay, so they're going to do a little bit of damage right there. But what is my heart going to do? Boom! Look at that! Extra two damage right there. I like that. And sleet stompers for the finish. Boom. At two move, eight is so strong for a finisher i mean i really like that so you, i think what we're going to be doing with this deck in particular is really just trying to build like a large push get a couple of chip damage in and then finish them off with those obliterators or not obliterators um the sleet hammer guys the the two eight uh two movement eight power guys all right, so this is not an ideal start because we got the hearth right there, but it's not going to do anything because we don't have any units. But let's just go ahead and play it, right? Like, okay, so they're going to hit us for the one. So does this boost its units only? Okay, so I'm going to swap that out and see what we get here. I don't love where we're at right now i'm just going to execute those rodents let's just push the game out a little bit further i would love to play the conflicted drakes but i just didn't want them to be 
too far ahead of us on the field in the board wise. They move fast already. And so I do want to be mindful of that. Let's go ahead and blast them. Let's push this lineup, get some units in play where we can get some board control. So I'm okay with what we got there. I'm going to play the Ice Droplings next turn. What is that? Alright, so they're playing a Fire Stream. On the start of your turn, deal 3 damage. Okay, so I have no idea what that's actually good for. But, okay, so they, they pushed me back a little bit. Um, that's annoying. But we're just going to go ahead and play this here. Because when that one guy moves forward, we can drop our Mistwise, which will get boosted up. And go right next to them. Okay, what is this? Yeah, see, they got all these wonky cards that are kind of strong. What? I thought I was supposed to get a boost. So that, that did not work like I expected, but okay. So the Miswise, when played, bordering a stronger friendly unit. So bordering must mean like completely next to. Um, and so maybe I didn't read that correctly. All right, so that building's just going to destroy itself. No problem there. <clears throat> so we're getting really close to that finish line. I am loving that hearth because it just continues to power up my units. So I could play Sleet Stompers right now and deal 8 damage. But I actually want to maintain more control over the board. And keep slow pushing a little bit. So what I'm going to do is drop this to eliminate those. And with the five, I'm going to go ahead and push this right here. Because I've got that heart. So the longer I stay um, in the game, the faster, like the more powerful, right, my units are going to become. And so I can keep the Sleet Stompers, wait till I actually deal two damage, and then... Deliver that Kaku de Gras and finish them off with, with that. So that is the plan. So now I can just go straight to the face for eight. And not even wait till the next turn. And boom. Game over. Game set and match. Alright, so that is a... I'm really liking this deck. It's, it's in my opinion, even more powerful than our Swarm deck. Um... Just because you can maintain so much board control, build up, and then smack them down with those um, Sleet Stormer Hammer dudes. Whatever they're called, I don't know, I don't remember, but yeah. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with the Ironclad deck if we, if we build one of those and get some really strong cards or interesting cards there. I, I think, you know, each one of these factions are pretty balanced. They do have... Their own unique features, different play styles, but we're just going to keep on going through these different campaigns, see what we pick up, and until next time, guys, take care, God bless.